hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this video tutorial we will work on our search bar in the nav in the nav bar okay so if uh, we search for someone post then if we click on this button search then uh, we will see our results okay so let's start our work so for that we need to create a file a new file and we will save this file in the social network folder and uh, the name file will be results.php so it is our file results.php and what we need to do is to copy over all the code from the home.php file and just paste it on the results.php file remove this php tags and the title will be C results and uh, we will remove this div all of that divs okay so now what we will do is uh, inside this row we will open up a center tag close that center tag and then we will open up a h2 tag and over here we will type C your results here that's it and after that we will open up a php tags and inside this php tags we will call the function results that's it and now we will create this results function in the functions.php file over here the function name is results so first let me just check on the headers.php file if you just scroll down the button name is search and the input type text name is uh, user underscore qd okay that's it so if we just get back to the functions.php file over here first we need to global up the connection variable and that's it and now we will add an if condition if i set dollar underscore get and then search if the search button is clicked so we create a variable search underscore query and it is equals to html entities dollar underscore get and then user underscore query this is the name of that input type and after this we will create a variable get underscore posts and it will be equals to select all from the post table where post underscore content like then the percentage sign and then dollar search underscore query or upload underscore image like single quotes percentage signs and then dollar search underscore query and that's it and after that we will create a variable run underscore posts and it will be equals to my sqli underscore query then the we will pass the connection variable and the get underscore posts variable then we will open up a while loop while row underscore post is equals to my SQL I fetch array 
and then we will pass the run underscore posts variable and now in inside this while loop we will get the post id and then the user id the content and the image and the post date so the post date user id content upload image and post date and after this we will get the the users uh, the user data from the database the user name first name last name and the user image so for that we will type select all from the users table where user underscore id will be equals to the variable name user underscore id and uh, posts will be equals to yes after this we will create a variable run underscore user and then mysql i underscore query the connection variable and the user variable we will pass these two variables then row underscore user will be equals to mysql i underscore fetch array then row underscore user and user underscore name so the first thing we will take is the user name first name last name and user image so now we have the user name first name last name and the user profile image so now we will uh, display all of the posts okay so for that uh, what we need to do is to is to copy this from this else condition from here we will just copy this else condition else if and this if condition and we will paste it over here first we will just type that uh, displaying posts and then just paste it here is our else condition else if and if condition so now just let's just save this and if you go to our home page okay so now the search queue is over here so now if we just search for some post okay hello world hello world post okay hello world so if you just click search here is our post which has the word hello and then the next word is word so here is our post hello world hello world how are you hello world and now if we just search for this post so something and if you click search and here is our post something else yay so now we're uh, searching for the post are now working and now in the next video we will work on the forgotten password option and uh, you can search any user from here okay and for post from over here so now in the next video as i say that we will work on the forgotten password so we will do that in the next video tutorial and thank you guys for watching and subscribe our channel coding cafe